Hi and welcome back! Today I have a card making video where I will be sharing designs and ideas on how you can use background stamps. Now Pink Fresh Studios has a brand new release full of background stamps and I'm going to use those to show you some ideas. Some of them have geometric designs like these two for example. Others have really intricate designs for you to color, such as this one with the lemons and the lemon slices. And there are other background stamps full of text. So I will be using different styles of background stamps today and hopefully I will give you some ideas on how to use yours. For the first card I will be working with a text background stamp. This is called Do What You Love and it comes with lots of sentiments in different fonts. Now the fun part about this one is that you can mix it with the other uh, background stamp which is called diagonal bars. If you stamp them one on top of the other, the text is going to fall along those diagonal lines. You don't have to use them together, you can use them completely separately like I will be doing today. But if you like these designs and you like to get both of them, then remember that they will work together as well. Now I'm going to do some stamping and I'm going for an ombre effect. For that I'm using three ink pads by Pink Fresh Studios. You will find links to everything I'm using, on, or including all the colors, down below in the description area. I am using three colors that are uh, slightly darker one from the other. And uh, I'm going to stamp so you can see I get darker shaded text at the bottom and as I go towards the top I get a lighter one. So when you have a text background stamp just stamp it with any of your favorite inks and you have a beautiful background which is quite subtle but at the same time it says something so you can even skip a sentiment if you like. Now for embellishing my card I'm just using some flowers. This is a stamp set by Pink Fresh Studio. It is called Simple Blossom Stamp Set and it is the absolute easiest layering stamp set that you can find out there. So all I have to do is to just place on top the other stamp. There are only two layers for each flower. They are really forgiving and you can uh, align them super easily. I love the funky designs and how easy it is to play with your ink pads and just have fun with this stamp set. So you get lots of different uh, sizes and designs of flowers as well as many leaves, sentiments and stems. For each of the flowers I'm using two shades of the same color, a lighter and a darker. And since it is still winter and cold outside, I just have uh, the urge to create uh, flower cards and really colorful ones. It brings spring into my craft room. The ink pads that I'm using are different uh, ink colors by Pink Fresh Studios. This is from their latest re released ink pads and you will find links to all the colors down below just like always. After stamping a bunch of flowers and leaves, I'm going to use the matching dies and I like that in the packaging they give you a magnetic uh, page where you can stick everything and store nicely your dies. So I'm going to secure them on top with uh, some purple tape and then run them through my die cutting machine. And lately I've been using my Gemini uh, die cutting machine which is electric and I'm absolutely happy with that. It cuts out everything and I don't have to use the handle which saved my hand. After popping all the die cuts I'm placing them on top of my stamped background and I'm trying to decide where everything is going to go. I, after playing around a little bit with all the leaves and flowers, I'm going to stick everything down. For the flowers, I'm using a foam tape at the back to pop them on my card for some dimension. And for all the stems and the leaves, I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe glue at the back. The foam tape roll that I'm using is by Arteza. It has a great price and I do have a 15% off coupon code down below in the description area. Make sure to check it out, it is a great uh, foam tape, I like that it is easy to cut out, it doesn't stick all over the place, it's quite easy to peel off that uh, red backing and um, the only disadvantage that I find is that you cannot tear it off with your hands but that's not a problem really, it doesn't stick on your scissors or anything. Now the background would look beautiful if you stamped that uh, text on top of with blue on top of blue so for a tone on tone look and it could give a lovely background like kind of a scene but for this card I decided to go quite uh, funky and more modern so I didn't want to have a sky kind of a sky at the background. Now I'm sticking down all the leaves 
I prepared my card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. So I'm going to pop on top the panel that I created. And now you can leave this card as it is. You do have sentiments at the background, or you can use the same stamp to cut out a few of those sentiments and decorate your card, which is exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to stamp on uh, a piece of white uh, cardstock again with black ink this time. And then I'm going to use just uh, a very thin uh, label dies to cut out those thin strips of sentiments and stick them on my card. Now these sentiments would look great if you white emboss them on black cardstock and cut them out in uh, thin little strips. But uh, for this card I'm going for a very light and airy look so I didn't want to add bold black sentiments on top. Now as I'm sticking them down I do have some foam tape at the back. And I'm sticking everything in a diagonal following the background stamp text. I'm going to embellish my card with some gems and I'm following the pattern, the color of the flowers. So pink gems for the pink flower, orange for the orange, yellow for the yellow and uh, so on. I have all those colors here so it is a good way to use them. So now I end up having lots of gems and sparkle on my card and to finish it off I'm also going to add some shine with my nouveau glitter pen at the center of the flowers. This gives a lovely shine on the center of my flowers but it is really hard to catch on camera. And here are some photos on the first card for today where I used the text stamp as both my background and my sentiment. Now another type of background stamps is those that have a beautiful design. This is one of them with all those lemons and lemon slices. In this case you don't have to do anything on top like I did on the previous card. There is no need for a focal point. All you do is to just stamp, color it with your favorite medium and then just add a sentiment. So here I stamped my image with alcohol marker friendly ink pad. And now I'm going to use my alcohol markers to color everything. Here I'm using my Nuvo alcohol markers just because I had them on my craft table from a project that I did uh, last uh, week and I like to switch from uh, one medium to another just to give all my different coloring mediums some love. So here I used my greens for the leaves, now I'm using yellow and a touch of orange at the center of those slices. This can be oranges or they can be lemon slices or even limes depending on how you're going to color them. Now here I switch to my Altenio alcohol markers to color those tiny little berries. And remember that as long as you are using alcohol markers you can mix and match different brands together. They would work great without a problem. Now in this image there are two types of flowers, the larger ones and the smaller ones. For the small ones I decided to add a touch of uh, light pink at the center, leaving the tip of the petals white. For the larger flowers I added a touch of yellow at the center and now with my gel pen I'm just adding some highlights here and there just because I like the look. Now if you notice I also used a very light blue coloring the whole white space at the background. So this way I kind of created my own pattern paper and just because I spent so much time coloring this beautiful image I don't want to cover it with any other focal point. After all it is looking quite busy as it is. I created a panel that's four and a quarter by five and a half and I'm going to stick this panel directly on top of that. That black border I think it helps the image stand out even more. And now for the sentiment I'm going to use one, two dies from this uh, die set which is called Phrase Builder. If you like uh, sentiments that have the actual word as well as the outline this is a great one for you. It comes with lots of words and I will be using the one that says awesome. And I'm going to combine it with one of the sentiments from the big background uh, text stamp. There is one there that says wake up and be awesome. So I white embossed that on a black cardstock and I cut out a very thin strip of that. But I chopped off the end part so I kept only the one that says wake up and be. So I'm going to combine that stamped sentiment with the word awesome that I die cut. And here is my complete card. 
just because I am a kind of obsessed with gems, I'm going to add some yellow gems on top of my lemon slices here. And background stamps that uh, feature lovely designs like this one gives you the opportunity to use the stamp again and again and every time use different colors or different mediums. For example, I think that this would look awesome in a watercolor, especially if you white emboss it and color in between the lines. And uh, this is something that I want to try. And now let's move on to the third and last card for today where I will be using one of the background stamps that has a geometric design. This is called Abstract Cube and it is really versatile, it can be used again and again on your backgrounds and geometric background stamps like this one are great to white emboss and then play with your ink. You can do the smooshing technique, you can do your watercolors on top, you can uh, do some inking like I will be doing today. So here I'm stamping with my embossing ink, I'm going to apply white embossing powder and heat set it. And you can see here that I walk directly on my card base, so this is going to be a completely flat card, easy to mail and very quick and simple to create. So I'm going for the emboss resist technique here and I'm using my blending brushes and I will apply three colors, going from yellow to orange to pink. I'm using my Pink Free Studio inks here and you can see that they are easily blended, they are not just for stamping. For applying the ink I'm using my brushes, these are the blending brushes, I have to load them again and again, but um, the good thing is that I don't get any harsh lines or blotches on top of my paper. With those brushes you have to build up your color slowly, but the good thing is that you can end up with a lovely effect and uh, you don't add too much ink on your paper that you don't know how to move or blend out. So I took my time, I added layers upon layers until I was happy with the saturation. And I just love how the beautiful embossed design appears as you apply ink on top of it. I'm using a clean paper towel to clean up any excess ink that is sitting on top of my embossed areas. And just like I said in the beginning, for this card I'm going for a very quick and simple design. So this time I'm going to use a few die cuts from the Phrase Builder die set. And I ended up having a nice bold sentiment that says you are amazing. And guess what? In this card I managed to avoid using any foam tape, which is uh, something really strange for me. This is a completely flat card. No layers at all. And although I managed to stop myself from using any foam tape, I couldn't stop myself from using my favorite gems. So here there are a few scattered along the card. So here is the card where I used a background stamp with the emboss resist technique. And here are all the three cards that I made for today using background stamps. Now this is part of a blog hop, so make sure to visit my blog, you will find there giveaways as well as coupon codes for this new Pink Fresh release. Thank you all so much for watching, I hope you had fun and that you got inspired, and I'll see you all next time.